Help Juice's editor is by far the most powerful editor on the market. There's so many things that you can do that I'm probably not gonna be able to show you everything, but I'm gonna show you the most commonly used features by our customers. It does wonders for them. So check this out. Once I click on new article, I'm presented with the editor, or if I click on an existing article, obviously. One of the things I can do is simply drag and drop a PDF or Word document, and it's gonna automatically take that uh, document and make it into a help juice article. So you no longer have to copy, paste items. It'll literally do it all automatically for you. And within a split of a second, it'll literally poof, just like that. It'll convert a PDF into an article. As you can see, it'll take all the content and just embed it here. You can also write the content manually yourself. The actual editor is super user friendly and super easy. If you've used Google Docs or Microsoft Word, you'll find yourself in a really familiar place. So as you can see here, I can select a category. I can have it appear in the main category and also display in multiple categories. I can set the access level of that particular article uh, as, you, as you saw with our dashboard, public, shareable URL, internal, private. I can you know, create our related articles or I can let help juice do it. We do a pretty good job. We use AI for our related articles. I can create multiple versions. I can add segmentation fields. There's a lot of stuff that you can do, folks. I can also, it's, everything is out of the box SEO friendly, so you don't have to do anything. But in case you wanna you know, edit the URL slug, you can do that as well. Here's some features that we have in our editor. You can obviously embed uh, videos, everyone does that. So we shouldn't really lead with that. But this is just, I want, I want you to know everything that you think we can do, most likely we can. I just wanna show you the other stuff that you're not even thinking about. So you can add these green content blocks, red, whatever. Again, everybody can do that. Decision trees are a really, really cool way to present a lot of information that you'd normally have in a lot of different articles in one article. It's kind of like troubleshooting. So with decision trees, you can prompt a series of questions and then lead with answers. So check, take a look at this. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this. All right, and um, here we have a decision tree right here. Are you a help juice customer? Should we give you a discount? Let's just say, yes, I am. Am I paying annually? Well, yes, great, I get a 10% discount. Uh, if not, no, nothing, right? So that's just one simple way of a decision tree. This is fantastic if you have a lot of complex information that depends on certain workflows, something like 14% of all of our customers use it. The accordion feature allows you to present different uh, sets of content, that's a lot of information, and allow the user to quickly digest each and every one by clicking on it. So this is one accordion, I can do this. And similarly, we also support tabs where you can have it side by side. Now the internal blocks are really amazing because they allow you to have a public article or internal article and have sections of it that are private only to specific individuals, groups, or your entire help juice user base visible. This is great if you have a customer facing knowledge base and you wanna have specific information maybe for your customer support reps related to that article. So in this case, as you can see, I selected it to be internal, but I could easily set it to be private. And in this case, even in the editor, only that group will see it. So as you can see here, I'm logged in, so I can see this uh, content. If I'm not logged in through Help Juice, I won't be able to see it. So here's an example of how it looks like if I'm not logged in. As you can see here, internal only pre below, I don't see it. This is just an alert block that I added here as a, quickly, as a quick way for us to reference that it should be here. Furthermore, article inserts are an amazing way for you to reuse content and have it here. Instead of rewriting the content or linking to content again, you can have an entire piece of content render within your article right there and then and then. This further allowing you to reuse your content. As you can see here, we have the content being displayed here. This was from one of our imported uh, PDFs, so that's why the formatting is a little off. And now lastly, I wanna show you another cool feature and that's called table of contents. With table of contents, I can instantly add a huge summary of what's going on so that you can, users can click through and see the most helpful information. I just click insert and voila, as I update content, I just hit the refresh button and then I can select what I'd like to in include or not include as part of the table of contents. Then in the front end, users will be able to just click through and they'll be brought to the correct section that they like. I'm just gonna remove this for now. With the Help Juice Editor, you can collaborate super simply. Watch this. I'm gonna. I clicked on this, selected some text, and I just initiated a comment. I'm gonna tag Emil Hodrick and write a comment. Now, voila! I made a comment. What's gonna happen is Emil's gonna get an email, and which to which he can respond to, 
And that comment, that, that, that response that he does as an email is automatically gonna be posted as a help juice comment. So Emil can just comment straight from his inbox, approving or not approving this article. And then I'll also get a notification on my email, but it'll also be visible right here as Emil does it. Or Emil can go with straight ahead and just click resolve if he resolved this article. Now, last but not least, publishing. Publishing an article is really simple. You can click publish, or you can make things a little bit more complicated. You can publish articles in the future, or you can publish articles and have them expire if you want them to be reviewed every 30, 60, 90 days, or whatever you really set. You can have it every one month. Uh, you can have it, you know, a specific absolute date, or, or you can just disregard that and, and keep things simple and just publish it straight away. There's a lot more features that I'd love to show you, but this is a quick overview of the Help Juice article editor. Thanks.